chosen as well. And requests. Yeah. All right, folks, how's it going? Out the weekend, uh, meeting up with Dave Fryers, who's having a waz at the moment, and uh, we're just having a little catch up. It's a long time since we've been over Fryers Wood, and uh, daffodils are out, and uh, yeah, that's it really. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for hopefully uh, uh, another good video. So, yeah, I'm slamming it this weekend in the old uh, swag. Something there. Right, so for tonight's dinner, I've got paella going a bit European. Scrummy, eh? Look at that. Paella. What's that origin? Spain, isn't it? Spain, paella. isn't it? Yeah, there's prawns in it. I, I added some um, chorizo in it as well. Oh, look at that. Say so chorizo, I mean like pepperoni. Don't leave any in there, Des. Hey? Don't leave any left in there. <laughs> Take your no prisoners, mate. <laughs> Definitely. You can lick that out afterwards. I'll lick, I'll lick it out later. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> lick it out later. That's what she said last night. Well, that's what I said to her last night. <laughs> oh. oh, yes. Tasty. Oh, go on, do it. Do the Mirzy thing. Ray right, would say, oh, 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 oh. If only you could smell this. If only you could smell this. <clears throat> when you hear the rain beating down on your shelter and you need to get out and go for a wee. Yeah, one of them quandaries. It'd be alright, wouldn't it? <laughs> Just wanna, it's almost like a cake mixture in there.
Well, that's sort of what we come up with, folks. We used Dave's old parachute, we've doubled it up. We've made it into something a little bit more different and... Uh, good idea, Dave. Good Dave. idea, mate, wasn't it? No, Worked no, well. Good idea. Worked sweet. Yeah, it's good. It's a good way of using the parachute. Yeah. It's got a load of holes in it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And uh, it's going to keep that bit dry now as well. Yeah, give us a nice little... And it ain't going anywhere. No. Nah. We've got some dowels up there. Made a couple of dowels with the old prussic loop on there on the ridge line, done it both sides, and then we've got a bit of a wall. And then Dave had these old poles, quite flexible. And we've obviously used that as well just to utilise the shape of it. And he trips over that stump that's down there on the floor. And uh, yeah, Didn't come out too sad, Dave, is it? No, I think it's a good. No, I like it. So when I had continuing a little continuing project, Dave has now um, dug a this is going to be where our rockery is and our, uh, we were just saying we're going to put some carp in there, crayfish it'd be like a scene out of the Monty Python film The Holy Grail when you can, you know, you go into a restaurant and you can select what, what you want to what you want on, on your plate but uh, no, I mean this is obviously going to be the uh, bowl for the fire um, and then literally over there um, three lengths of ash that I've just gathered I'm going to make up a sort of like the old traditional style um, tripod No. But, um, just, <laughs> it's like hitting a wall with a minute here. Yeah. So what we're thinking, because obviously we want to just keep this as a traditional tripod, so what I've done is, so what we thought we can use this fork as the adjustable one if we want to lower it down, because we're going to put a couple of ladders up here as well in case you want to bring it over the fire. And then what we do is we'll put all the holes through these two. And then we were looking at attaching the paracord or some cordage and then Dave's going to get a bit of chain and as I say we can use this one then just as the up and down because they'll cradle into the fork of this tree into the fork of this branch so I'm just drilling it out now has that gone full yet? not yet mind you you know what I think I should have done this on the floor <laughs> would have been easier it might have been easier might it I think you're almost well I don't know how far you've gone in uh, I don't know I think it might be better off me doing that you know take it, you what, some take it out some yeah do it again. let's just drop that it's one not down. even come through there yet no. mate that's a bit easier at yeah. least we've got the mark in there yeah. right. and then we know where the other yeah so we decided then to uh, got me a 10mm auger just drilled a hole through them two and then we've smashed a dowel through it then obviously we've got the wire fork there so we can they're sort of hinged those try put if i come back a bit so these two are sort of hinged and then that one the wire fork we can use that as an adjuster as well so uh dave's just sort of moving it about a bit yeah pretty good freestanding man yeah i'll, I'll, yeah, I'll take my weight that one for it what a fat bastard there's a broke it. Have ya? Have ya? He's, he's <laughs> broke it! Oh yeah, that was it, didn't it? So we've got to put another dowel in. Yeah, well, we've got... I was trying to do it. Oh no, it's just come out. Oh, it's just come out. Oh, that's all right way. then. Fucking hell, what a fat git. The mallet over. Alright, so Dave, because Dave flipping strength tested it, you know what I mean? And because he's fat There's and everything else. There's no need else, for him to do that. No, no need for him to do that. But actually what he did do, it kind of... Possibly that was uh, the 10 mil diameter was probably a bit too small, so I'm going to go for my biggest one, which is the 16 mil, and obviously that give the dowel a bit thicker as well, might give it a bit more strength and hold his fat weight. I'm not saying nothing to that. No, you shouldn't. All right, there's a bit of the. Uh, we've decided we're only going to put one 
sort of uh, ladder frame there if you like just one so what I've done was I, first of all I drilled out with 10mm all good and it weren't enough so I'll just use the 16 on them both and uh, we stand back a bit that'd be nice now just for hanging pot hangers off and that sort of stuff I'll tell you what them augers come in really handy today especially I mean normally I've got that one for tapping birch trees and then this one and the other one the 6mm one just for other stuff but they've come in really handy this weekend I must admit No. <laughs> you, you, you try smoking a fag out of it. I remember. <laughs> Gave out the you cut, so I eat it. There is flame in there, though, isn't it? No, there is, yeah, it's dying. Well, it's funny because it, was, it rained, didn't it, last night and all this day, but, then, it. but it was dry. The wood had dried out already. It wasn't soaking wet when I picked it even off the ground. Mm. It's quite surprising, isn't it, really? How quickly the ground, yeah. like the leaf mat, dries out. Left me, it's been running me out, just fluttered away then. Could have made you jump a bit, doesn't it? It does, doesn't it? Yeah. So, I'm going to have me and Dave's having a non alcoholic lager. And, uh, I'm having me one can of Guinness and uh, been quite um, busy today especially this afternoon put up the parachute made it into this kind of setup as you can see we made that obviously that tripod and cooking stand and all the rest of it make it we're going to kind of make have it as like a bit more of a more bushcrafty kind of setup just here but, uh, you know, nice. So I'm going to enjoy my Guinness now. It's a nice dinner. I've got um, mashed potato, gravy and a uh, steam pudding pie. I love them. My wife picks them up from the baker, uh, from the butchers and they are absolutely lovely. I do like a bit of mashed potato as well. Almost like an old uh, sort of an old cockney sort of meal. I do like a bit of mashed potato though. I like this old Idaho mash really nice. Normally I like getting the pots but on this occasion I'm just using up the uh, the pack. 
packet ones because the uh, I find the pot ones just easier. You literally just fill it up to the line. Just being a bit lazy, really. But, uh, some gravy up. Lovely oh, jubbly. Do you like some fish dog? Oh there it is folks. Mashed potato and steam pudding pie. Absolutely gorgeous. Put round sort of English. Bit of cockney. Really? They're cockney sort of, you know. He's up my brain. He's up my brain. <laughs> well. Yeah, it's getting ready for bed. Nice clear sky out there at the moment. It's a great day, really. So, uh, good night, folks. And, uh, see you tomorrow. Well, but it's still quite hard, Dave. Yeah, not sort of. Well, yes, I was alright, wasn't it? Lovely people, we're uh, we're sitting in our new chaise lounge. Is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Chaise lounge, yeah. So uh, yeah, we're chilling out here, getting smoked out by the fire, and just chilling out, getting a bit of breakfast on. Dave's having porridge, blueberries, and yeah. a bit continental because of the chaise lounge, and I'm having bacon, which is kind of continental. If you squint and hop on one leg. So, uh, yeah. yeah, we should be having croissants and stuff. We should be having croissants because yeah. we're in a we're in our yeah. chaise lounge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, so they're kind of there it is, folks. We had quite a busy weekend, really, doing bits of obviously the cooking as usual because you have to eat food. And uh, you know, obviously we built that shelter up. There will be a video obviously coming out uh, because you're watching it right now. What am I even saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you got. Hopefully you got to the end of it. You know yeah. what I mean. So uh, thanks, Dave, for yeah, no worries, uh, inviting Thank us over. Thanks for the help. Appreciate it. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, it was my idea anyway. So. You know. Who? What? And uh, yeah, so brilliant. So uh, thanks for watching, folks. Leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel. Like, share, hit the notification bell, all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you on the next one. Take care.